Hey, what's happening guys? We are back again playing with our transistors here. And this is part two when we were talking about transistor characterization. This is going to be a short video follow up here to show you a little something. So here we have our setup. Just like I showed you in the first video. There is our, uh, our 1K collector resistor. There is our 2N2222A transistor and PN and there's just a red LED that I have there as a visual reference now on the fluke here we have the collector emitter voltage which is 0.65 volts here we have our base current 1.9 microamp and here we have our collector current which is 5.61 microamps so you're seeing right here the amplification of that transistor the HFE or the beta so what we're doing here is I'm just using this little resistor substitution box and we can get some basic ideas here so there we are at 300,000 ohms let's go to 500,000 ohms you can now see this light really goes off fast 1.2 microamps of base current 357 microamps of collector current and a collector emitter voltage of 0.883 volts so take that off let's go to uh, 100k here now at 100k you can see we're putting in 5.2 microamps and getting out a thousand and fifty one in our collector current and 0.119 collector emitter voltage now let's take that off and let's go all the way up to a 900 you can see our collector emitter voltage at 1 volt 0.7 microamps in to 13.5 out. These lights don't like to stay on here. So this is just to give you a basic idea. So let me uh, let me shut this off here for a second, and we'll take it down even more. We'll go to something like 10k. How's that sound? So here's 10K. We'll power up again here. Now you see you're seeing 49.8 volts of base current. Turn the light on so you can see it. 1180 microamps of collector current and 0 0.025 volt collector emitter current. So are you seeing the inverse relationship here between collector emitter current? and base voltage or base current I'm sorry inverse relationship between collector emitter voltage and base current and the straight relationship between base current and collector current so let's whack this off again here and we'll go up <laughs> now this is with um, full on you can see there's our input, our output, and our collector emitter voltage. Let's go one meg. Oops, if I can get my fingers to work. There's one meg of resistance, and we're getting 0.6 microamps of base current. 197, we'll call it, collector current, and one volt of collector emitter voltage now if I can grab one more meter give me a second train passing there all right one more meter we'll bring in the uh, Anang 8008 I can sit it here and we'll measure the forward voltage across the LED which should be about 1.7 volts right now even as I change this, 
That was one meg resistance on the base. And I'm feeding this with three volts, by the way. Let's cut that in half and we'll go down to uh, half a mega ohm. We'll power it back up. So at half a mega ohm, 1.2 base current. 358 collector current, collector emitter voltage of 0.882 volt, and our forward voltage on the LED should remain stable at about 1.7. So, now I hope that gives you an idea of how the relationships work, both inversely and proportionally, along with the collector emitter voltage but that voltage there always stays the same. All right, that's part two for your Saturday morning thinkificating. Now, turn YouTube off and go do something. That's it. I'm out. Peace.